Good morning and welcome to Hope for the Family with Evangelist Noyen Tunia Eden. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this beautiful day which He has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We bless God for being our God. We have not our God but Him. He is God. We thank God for the life He has given to us. That we are living the life of Jesus Christ, not our own life here on earth. We bless God for the salvation of Jesus Christ. For being the rock of our salvation, for the joy he has given to us, that we truly know God, that we are not the most treasured of things God created. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning I'm attending the funeral service of a dear family member that passed on about two weeks ago, a reverend, one that faithfully served the uh, Lord, Reverend Isaac Badamusi. We bless God for his life, we bless God for his service here on earth. We thank God for the family he left behind, for the lives he touched, for his ministry, yeah, all the work he did for God while he was here. Yesterday, I attended his wakening, his wake, and all the testimony that I heard from the mouths of people who worked with him, the all good things that would give God pleasure. We pray that the lives we live here on earth will give God pleasure, that when we pass on, when we die and leave this world, that people will say good things about us, the things they saw us doing for our God, the things we did in our families, in our communities, the lives that we touched. Amen. Each time we attend a funeral service, let us take a moment to reflect on our lives. Let us remember that we are not here forever. That every day we are alive, that we should do good works. We must do good works for God. Knowing that every day leads on to the day that we leave this world. Glory, hallelujah, amen. The funeral service is not so much about the person that has passed on, but about us that are still alive. What are we doing with our lives? How are we living? Are we able to take a moment to reflect on our lives, to make up our minds that as from this very day, this day that we are alive, that God has given to us, that we begin to live for God. This morning, I as we have come before God, let us lift up our hands to begin to bless Him. Thank Him for the gift of life. Thank Him that He is our God and we are His children. Bless Him for the gift of salvation. Thank Him that Jesus Christ came to this world to die for us, that we may have life. Life more abundantly in our God. Our God is our portion in the land that we live in. Blessing for our glorious and eternal inheritance in Jesus Christ. That when we die, that death will not hold us captive. That we resurrect to we receive a better resurrection. That we are heads of God and co heads of God with Jesus Christ. Bless God for all He has given to us. He is a portion in the land of the living. He has made our light to continue to shine. That darkness cannot find any place to hide where we are. Bless God for the living word of God that is helping us today. The living word of God that has given us confidence to believe that we have power, strength in Jesus Christ to do great works. To believe that the Spirit of God is upon us. Bless God for that living word of God that has enlightened our eyes, that has given us wisdom, intelligence, knowledge, that has feed us with the knowledge of God's will, that we are not walking around this world in ignorance. Bless God for that word of God that will never fail us. Bless God that that word dwelt amongst us, became flesh among us, walked amongst us, taught people about the kingdom of God, healed people, cast out demons. Resurrected the dead. Glory. Hallelujah. That we may return the dead ones back to life. Because they have faith to believe in the living word of God. They walked with Jesus Christ. Today we have faith to believe. That we have the same power to walk in our lives today. That death will not hold us captive. That we will be resurrected with Jesus Christ. To a better resurrection. Glory. Hallelujah. That why we are alive, we hear the voice of wisdom leading us. Wisdom leading us on the path that God has laid for our feet. We do not turn back in the name of Jesus Christ. 
we do not belong to those that doubt and are destroyed but because of unbelief. We belong to those that press on to the high calling of God in us in Christ Jesus. We start and finish strong in Jesus' mighty name. We run our races to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. We finish the full courses of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God for the measure of faith he has given to each one of us in Jesus' mighty name. To walk with him, to give him pleasure, to believe in him. To stand up and begin to do great works in our communities. To encourage our brothers and sisters. To lift up people from their low lowly low estates. To cast out demons. To pray for the sick that they receive healing. Thank God that we are encouraged. That the living word of God has made us to know that we are the reading of God. That we have the power of God in us. The spirit of God in us. That we can do great works. That those that know that God is strong and mighty in his hands to do great works. We know you, God. We know you, God. We know you, God. You are our God. We bless you. We can see you in the things you created. We can see the beautiful world around us. We can see your living world leading us today. We can see your hands are stretched towards us. We can hear the voice of wisdom today. In our own soul of God. In our street corners. In our conferences. Wherever we congregate in your name. We can hear your voice of wisdom leading us. Every the wisdom or the wisdom of this world. We do not conform to the pattern of this world. We are separated from everything evil in the name of Jesus Christ that our God most I God no God as deep God who reigns in the assembly of the gods your idea is sorted God who fallen this one upon the deep waters of the ocean God whose voice is mightier than the deep waters who can lift up his talent against us today in the name of Jesus Christ we pull them strongholds in the name of Jesus Christ we come against every strange God in the name of Jesus Christ out on God out on wickedness we pull it down by the power of the living God we come against the spirit of witchcraft and evil we come against the spirit of familiar spirits we pull down every marine spirit we come against the scorpion we come against what our Lord is serpent. We come against strange altars erected, all of God, in our lives, in our families, all of God, in our nations, in the body of Christ, in our government, in the name of Jesus, in the lives of our children. We pull them down by the power of the living God. That God will prevail in every matter relating to us and our families. So that we bless you, our living God. We thank you for all you have done for us today. We are by we are like the tree planted by the, by the streams of God's uh, river in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, thank you. Glory, hallelujah. Father Lord, our lips are ever green. Oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, we produce our fruit in our season. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you, God. Whatever we do prospers in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we thank you for the wicked and also that are the child that the wind is blowing apart about to their path lead unto destruction because they have turned their back against God. Their hearts are added against the things of God. They have turned their back against God. They have rejected a better salvation that God has given to them. They have rejected a better resurrection in Christ. They are already here to send that they sold their soul, mind, and spirit to money. The spirit of money. But what does it promise a man if he gets the whole world and suffer the loss of his own soul? What can we give in exchange for our souls? We may be sent out of a home of shame that about Haba 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 Haba. We may be sent out of a home of shame that about Haba Haba Haba. We pray that we see the hands of God are stretched towards us today. The hands of God calling us out today from our dark places to come back to God in the name of Jesus Christ. The God who has the power to kill and to cast into air. The God who has the power to forgive sins. Father, we bless you for the love you have for us. That you sent your son to die for us while we are sinners. That we may be reconciled back to you. That our Father, we bless you this morning. We say the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we thank you. We bless you. There's no God to say. Thank you, God. We magnify your holy name today in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your living word standing firmly concerning us today in the name of Jesus Christ. And give us strength to stand on this foundation. You have set our feet on God in the name of Jesus Christ. We are leaping over walls. We are flying as of eagles wings in the name of Jesus Christ. We are strong as a pantry, Jehovah God. The elements cannot come against us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, everything you created will bless us. The wind will bless us. The soil, the oil, the evening, oh, Rakashina will bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, everything will bless us today in Jesus' mighty name. That's our God. We thank you, Jehovah God, for every good and perfect gift come from you. You are the God of the ever the light. You know, there's no variation in the shadow of turning. Thank you for the gifts you have given us today. The uh, children are friends. 
everyone in our families, you are God. Lord, we keep us in that about who we should our jobs, our church family, our spiritual leaders in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we keep us in that about who we should the congregation of God's children in the name of Jesus Christ. Your earth, Father Lord, Rabba who we should our leaders in our communities, you are God. Lord, we keep us in that about who we should everyone we walk with, everyone we make contact with every day in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Our children, you are God, our husbands, Father Lord. We be keep us in that about who we should our parents, Lord God, our siblings, Lord God, the wives, your sons in the name of Jesus Christ, our sisters and brothers, Father Lord, we bless you. Our uncles, our nieces and nephews, Lord God, our cousins, Lord God, we be be sent to the Lord. Everyone related to us in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, God. Everyone related to us in friendship, Father Lord, in organization, in association, Jehovah God, we thank you, Lord God, for our, for our father's land, so Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you, God. For our countries, for our nations, Lord God, we thank you for our ethnic groups, so that our ethnic groups in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, God. We be blessed that our commotion, that our no weapon fashion against us, we prosper. That our God, that our God, that our God, every strange altar was called by the power of the living God. You are our Father. We bless you. Your spirit is upon us this morning. We thank you, Jehovah God. We be blessed that our commotion, that we receive perfect healing in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, miracles, signs, and wonders working in our lives today in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you this morning. There's no God that's the we say the praise, the honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to your mighty name. Thank you, Father Lord, for the mystery of death, mystery of death and resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit unto your hands all oh, morning the death of loved ones today. Touch them. We are sure they are your presence in their situation, Father Lord. Hold them the whole of your hands of again. God, give them the comfort they need today in the name of Jesus Christ. Give them, Father Lord, everything they need today. Joy, rejoice, and thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we bless you. Oh, Rakashin, that I have a we commit them all into your hands, Lord God. Give them inner strength, Lord God, to stand today in the name of Jesus Christ, to honor their loved ones in Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah God, we bless you for the loved ones that we have called into eternal rest. We thank you, Lord God, for their work while they were here on, um, in this world with us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the good names they left behind. We thank you because you know they are arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, we bless you. We thank you, God. That those of us are life to begin to think about where we spend eternal life in the name of Jesus Christ. And none of us will die without making that decision, Jehovah God. You have shown us, Father Lord, that there are two there are two resurrections, Father Lord, in this world. Resurrection to a better resurrection in you and one unto the kingdom of darkness, Father Lord. May we accept the better resurrection you have given to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God Almighty, may we see your hands on all these outstretched with sinners in Jesus' mighty name that will come to you just the way we are to repent of our sins to receive salvation. We bless you this morning, our Father, receive a praise to the honor of all you have done for us. No God has seen that. God and God alone. Thank you, Jehovah God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, Father, we bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, ever helping us and revealing to us the things we need to know about the kingdom of God. Ever rebuking us and disciplining us where we are falling short of the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Bringing us back to our righteous standing with God in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of the living God, walk in us and through us today. That the will of God be done in our lives, in our communities, in our government, in the body of Christ, wherever we congregate today. Oh, walk in us today. That any strange altar, any works working against us, are being overturned today by the power of the living God. Walk in us today and put down strong odds and frustrate those coming against us and our families today. Walk in us today and uproot everything, not of God, in our lives today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, pray for us today. We do not know how to pray, we do not know what we ought to pray about. We we do not know how we should pray. We do not know what the enemy has brought against us, but we know that we have you. Arise unto us today. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. For those that are sick today, that healing will flow. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Touch the hands of the doctors today. Help them as they carry out various medical procedures on the children of God. Touch the pharmaceutical companies and the pharmacists. Touch the laboratories and the technicians. Touch these colleges of education and, and, and medicine and nursing in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch today. Every department. Touch, touch, touch in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, touch you know, hit send that about what was shaped that about the recent institutes today. There be a breakthrough in the treatment of cancer and various diseases attacking the children of God. Touch today our medicine, every medical equipment that we are using in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, that God will receive the glory in everything relating to us. Baby, send that about what 
those gathered against the children of God today. Expose those doing evil in the medical profession. Let the fire of God descend upon the tent today. Let them be scattered and brought down by the mighty power of the living God. Let them be disgraced out of the medical profession in Jesus' mighty name. Arise today. Touch every plant where food is processed in the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Where water is bottled in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm going to hear me send that about Hobo Shida. Become a standard against the doing evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Sending poison into the nations in the name of him is that. Rebuke cancer today. Yeah, where it's coming from in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the fire of God descend upon the tent of the enemy. Let the fire of God bring down those walking evil in our midst today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, arise. You know, the living God help us. Deliver us from evil in the name of Jesus Christ. That the will of God be done in the nations here of earth as it is in heaven. Arise unto us, our Rehim is sent. Help us, help us, help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rabba, Haba, Haba. We build the kingdom of darkness on our behalf today. We build wickedness today. We build us with wickedness. There's a witchcraft. Our Rehim is sent. Rabba, who was shamed. Rabba, Baba, 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 shamed. Rabba, arise today in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Rehim is sent. We build wickedness in our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Those gathered against the children of God, let them be brothers by the power of the living God. Arise and help us in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God Almighty, we bless you. We commit the earth unto your hands today. The soil, we are our food is planted on the ground in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless it in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord God, the oceans, the rivers, the seas, Lord God. Bless everything, Father Lord. For us today in the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, that your will prevail concerning us today in our nations, in our families, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, God, in Jesus' mighty name this morning, Father Lord. We commit unto your hands, O Lord God, the body of Christ. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We pray for unity of the Holy Spirit. We pray, O Lord God, for unity in the Spirit. We come against every activity contrary to the will of God in the body of Christ. We come against false prophets and teachers. We frustrate them. Jehovah God, we lift up our spiritual fathers and mothers to you today. Touch them. Encourage them. Let them continue to speak as your oracles, Jehovah God. Enlighten their eyes to see. Separate them from everything evil. Bless them and their families in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray that they will continue to pursue righteousness. Give their inner strength, O Lord God, to do good works of God. Oh, bless their outreach ministry, of God. Bless their entire congregation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift up a standard against any strength altars the enemy has erected amongst us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God prevail in our midst, of God. Let the fire of God descend upon the tent of the enemy. Jehovah God, we pray for unity in the spirit, of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against every activity contrary to the will of God. Buying and selling contrary to the will of God, we overturn. In the tables of the money changes, of the God. We come against the tradition of men, Jehovah God. Arise unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. I will rightly design the body of Christ that we are different parts of one body, united in one spirit, for one purpose, of the God. To open down the door of salvation to the nations, of the God. To uphold the great commission to go out into the nations, into the uttermost ends of the world to bring for the Lord, souls into the kingdom to make salvation for the Lord. To bring the fish men and to bring them to your kingdom in the name of Jesus, where you are made of fishers of men. Glory be to your mighty name, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against any spirit that we need to be standing against the knowledge of God's will in our lives. Any spirit that will hinder the good works of your children in the nations, we put them by the mighty power of the living God. We thank you for those that have gone ahead of us, Father Lord. We cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray, Father Lord, that your word will be a light unto their path, a lamp unto their feet, and a light unto their paths in the name of Jesus Christ. Illuminate their paths, Lord God. Lead them to those doors, and we must lock on those souls that must be brought into your kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you. We thank you, our God, over oh, captivity today. Those that have been persecuted are blessed and they will inherit your kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah God, that ancient prison for the Lord, where souls are chained in this world, oh, by the power of the living God. Let those doors for the Lord break by the power of the living God that souls will come down in the multitude, in the name of Jesus Christ, into the kingdom of God. Father, we bless you. Glory be to your mighty name. Glory, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you that the church is marching forward in Jesus' mighty name. You are giving us inner strength to press back in against the forces of darkness to so press on to our eye calling you in Christ Jesus Christ in Christ Jesus to do great works of God to stand in our rightful position within the body of Christ to use our spiritual gifts to bless the kingdom Father we bless you oh we belong to those that worship you in spirit and in truth in the name of Jesus Christ may your truth always prevail wherever we are may we continue to renounce all secret all shame all shame all, all reproach everything all deception everything that will bring Father Lord disgrace upon the body of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we bless you God that shades are coming down by your mighty power Father Lord, we thank you that deliverance of God, Rakashana, Rokoshendara is right here for your children in the name of Jesus Christ on my soil. There is deliverance for us today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you.
God, Father God, as we commit our nations under your hands today. We thank you for your children in our government. We bless you, Lord God, for the president of nations, for the vice president of nations, for the senators and congressmen, secretary of state in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the governors in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for the mayors. We thank you for the councilmen and women. We thank you for the heads of the department. Oh, God, shit, for the supervisors. We thank you for your children working in the government in the name of Jesus Christ. Prevail in our government in the name of Jesus Christ. Put us stronghold in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore the nations back to your children, Jehovah God. We pray that the eyes of those in the government be enlightened, Lord God, to take care of the needs of the people in their communities. We come against every strange God in our government in the name of Jesus Christ. We put our altars erected, Lord God, by those working for the kingdom of your God, Jehovah God. We restore the kingdom back to your children in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you for all you're doing in our government, that your children within the government will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. They will uphold the truth and lift up the gospel of Jesus Christ. They will begin to speak as your oracle in the name of Jesus Christ. They will begin to overturn the things done in the nation's cause right to your way. They will begin to create jobs for your children. They will begin to strengthen families, your God. They will begin to provide the needs of the senior citizens and the youth, so that God, and the children in Jesus' mighty name. The over God, they will provide housing for your children, the over God. Become a case which are profiling discrimination and, 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 and corruption in our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you for peace, so that God, that our ministry will go out to your name, the police will go out to your name, Jehovah God, and secret services will work for you. We thank you for immigration reforms in our, in, in our nations, Jehovah God, that everything done will be in accordance to your way. We lift up all the committees and sub committees within Congress and Senate to you, Jehovah God, that everyone will, will begin to work for God, that the true love of God will direct the course of human affairs in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Father, we bless you. Reckon, send that up a hobo hobo shenda. We may be send that up a hobo shenda. We may be a hobo shenda. We do not violate the principles you have laid for us. The marriage institution is you know, between a man and a woman. As we have married men to female, we pass on the tradition to our children. Our children will marry men to female in the name of Jesus Christ. Our children will accept themselves the way you created them, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children will not be confused by any agent of evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children for Lord will prosper. They will do well. They will have their own children. In the name of Jesus Christ, living their own homes in the land that you have given to them. Jehovah God, we thank you, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, for all you have done for us. Thank you for fruitfulness in our families, Jehovah God. Thank you that the enemy will not find an entrance into our homes, Lord God. Thank you, Jehovah God, that the husbands and wives are united in ministry work and in holy matrimony. No weapon fashion against this union will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you that the children are only children and father's tables, that the wives are people vines in their husband's homes. Thank you that the husbands are priests in their homes, Lord God. Leading their children in holy procession, Jehovah God. Teaching their children how to know you, how to love you, how to have a fear of you in their hearts, Lord God. Thank you that the wives of God, oh God join their husband to motion the children in the things of God. Thank you, Jehovah God, for all you are doing for us. There's no God that says they are God in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God, for our senior citizens, our grandparents, and our parents. Teach us the things of God, proclaim to us and testify about your faithfulness to us in this generation. We pass it on from one generation to the other, that the world may be filled with the knowledge of your will in the name of Jesus Christ, as the waters over the ocean in Jesus' mighty name. You are God. You have set tables before us in our families today. But our Lord, right in center, right in the presence of our enemies, we are feeding on those tables, Father Lord. Your goodness and mercy will continue to follow us wherever we go in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, your rod and staff will, pro will protect us against the devices of the enemy. We are not afraid of what the wicked will do unto us. But we have your Father in the name of Jesus Christ. We prosper in good works in our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Shouts of victory and rejoicing and care within our homes, Lord God. Oh God Almighty, all the days of our life will be strong pillars within your eyes, Lord God, as we walk for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, that our Father, we bless you today. You have refreshed us, Jehovah God. You have done great works for us, Jehovah God. You have sent forth your word to heal us of our sicknesses and diseases. You have uprooted every tree planted in our lives, not of you, in our families, not of you. So, Rehim is that. You have come against those that are gathered for evil purposes. You have rebuked barrenness of God in the name of Jesus Christ. That your sons and daughters are looking up to you for the blessing of the womb, Father Lord. That you carry their own, that your daughters will carry their own pregnant, their own babies in their wombs in the name of Jesus Christ. Your sons will impregnate their wives, Lord God. You have rebuked death and child birth in Jesus' mighty name. You have held down, Father Lord, every attack from the pit of hell, Jehovah God. We bless your babies that have been born into this world. Your spirit is overrun around the maternity that every your daughter to bring their babies forth into this world. We thank you for babies that have been dedicated to you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you. Great and mighty things you have done for us, Jehovah God. That our God, we bless you. We thank you for the spirit of good success that upon us and our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the spirit of fruitfulness, Jehovah God. The ability to reproduce, to dominate, to conquer, to multiply, and to replenish this earth in the name of Jesus Christ. We take control, Father Lord, of everything you have given to us. The only agents are helping us this day in the name of Jesus Christ. They are ministering to us that our feet will not strike against the stone, a stone in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father Lord, the evil by day, by night will not come close to us in the name of Jesus Christ. The sun, the moon, and everything 
we bless us today. In the name of Jesus Christ, that's our God. Oh, be that it's what in our midst, Father Lord. For all you have done for us in the name of Jesus Christ. For the spirit of prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. When this is spirit, mind, and soul in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, God Almighty, that our Father be that it's Sunday today. You have rebuked the enemy on our behalf today. You have broken snare. You have made us so to escape out of the fallen dead, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have cast a demons on the God. Oh, Raka Shendera Bahaba Haba Haba. Rebe Bebe Sendera Bahaba. You have spoken concerning us today. Jehovah God, Rebe Hebe Sendera Bahaba Shendera Bahaba. Rebe Bebe Bebe Sendera Bahaba Shendera We bless you, our Father, as we go out today by whatever means of transportation we use today. Jehovah God, you have blessed us today by ever let me see. In the name of Jesus Christ, terrorists, we are right here, sir. We come against by the blood of Jesus Christ. Our ministry are coming against you. The Lord is going to come against you. In the knowledge and will of God, in the wisdom of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, they triumph over you. In Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah God, we give you a clap offering for what you have done for us in our nations today. Jehovah God, we lift up the judiciary to you, a very important time of government. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God, we say, don't, don't, don't judge one another that doesn't have the true love of God in their hearts or your humanity can sit on the bench of the God. They cannot, for another, sit in the judgment against us. Jehovah God, let me hear the center. They cannot be found in the congregation of the wicked. Let their position become vacated by your mighty power. Oh God Almighty. Oh right and shelter. Let your children ascend on the position of leadership in our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. That our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, you have not rejected us, Father Lord. You have heard our cry for help this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, and the cause water that come out from the mouth of any evil force of darkness against us, every spirit conjured up against us, every item begun belonging to us and our families that are being held, Lord God, by the force of darkness against us today. Father, we snatch them in the name of Jesus Christ from the spiritual range of God. We overturn curses today. We frustrate the enemy today. Jehovah, we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. That our God, you fight our battles and you teach us to fight in the name of Jesus Christ. We trample upon every work of darkness today. Jehovah, God, we prevail because you are our God. We say thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, it is where well with us we come against death by sudden stroke and at attack. We rebuke you, you evil spirit, you evil arrow. We come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are God of clog our arteries and veins of God of excessive fat in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, not stabilize our blood sugar level and our blood pressures in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, flush out from our body excessive water today in Jesus' mighty name. You are God, rebuke anything, Father, attacking our memories of God and all that of our bodies today. Flush out from our blood everything contrary to your will today. Oh God Almighty, rebuke. Rebuke the enemy today. Hold back the end of the video of the attacker, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, you are God. We bless you. You have touched us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet today. You have touched our eyes, our hearing organs, our mouth, our teeth, and our tongues, Jehovah God. We speak as your oracles in the name of Jesus Christ. You have touched everything in our thoracic cavity, in our abdominal cavity. You have touched everything in the knees, Lord God. Every internal organ, in our legs, our knees, our hands, our fingers, Lord God. Oh God of mercy, we are giving strength to our bones today. In the name of Jesus Christ. That those are in intensive care units, Father Lord, they receive the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, they are not wanting to begin to walk and write in Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah God, he will send that over. People are writing for their sick beds today and testify about your faithfulness, Jehovah God. Father, you are doing great works through, Father Lord, the doctors today, the nurses today, all the pharmacists today, in the, 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 the technicians, technicians today, in the name of Jesus Christ, the professors today, and the teachers today, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are doing great works today in our research institute, Father. Lord, miracles in flowing, miracles flowing in the name of Jesus Christ. You are doing great works today, Father Lord, in the church through the five point ministry, Father Lord. The anointing eye is being lifted up and prayers is being lifted up, Father Lord, on behalf of the sick today. Oh God Almighty, we thank you, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father Lord, for all you have done for us today. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. The Lord reigns, blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May our God be exalted in our midst today in the name of Jesus Christ. It's our God. He loves us so much. He will never fail us. He has given us everything we need today in the name of Jesus Christ. We are strong in his hands to do great works. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we bring hope to everyone today. Morning the death of loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive encouragement today. Be strengthened in your inner being in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the touch of God today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let joy replace sorrow today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let hope be rekindled in you today in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Look up to God today in the name of Jesus Christ and believe that God is involved in your situation today in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God will never fail us in Jesus' mighty name. He gives us strength in the name of Jesus Christ. He restores all record strength to us. He restores to us the things that belong to us in the name of Jesus Christ. That when we pass through life challenges and we think that everything has come to an end, that God arises to our help in the name of Jesus Christ. He refreshes us in the name of Jesus Christ. He's a bright, oh, morning, new morning, new morning star in the name of Jesus Christ. Every day, new hope in the name of Jesus Christ. God makes things beautiful for us in Jesus' mighty name. Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. The Lord reign next, blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May our God be exalted in our lives today. May our God be exalted in our circumstances today. Father, we give you thanks. We bless you. No matter what it is that we are passing through today, we thank you. We bless you. Go be him, that you are God. We bless you. Right here, we the praise and honor today for all you have done for us in Jesus mighty and precious name. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good all the time. He will never fail us. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I want to go back to that passage I read yesterday from the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Specifically, I will start from verse 32. I want to make reference to what we can do through faith that we may receive the dead one back, dead, restored back to them, resurrected back to them in the name of Jesus Christ. We cannot please God if we do not have faith to believe that he has given us salvation in Jesus Christ, that he has given us power, strength in Jesus Christ to do great works for him in this world. For the word of God says that those that know that God will be mighty in his hands to do great works. We must know our God for us to be able to do great works for him in the name of Jesus Christ. We must believe that we are the children of God. He has called us his children. He is our God. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We must believe that God has assigned angels to guide us, to help us, to, 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 to minister to us that our feet will not strike against the stone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We must believe that the spirit of good success is in us. Amen. And the spirit of God is upon our lives. The spirit of goodness and mercy, the peace of God is in us. That peace that surpasses human understanding. We must believe that we are the people that God said we are for us to enjoy the life that God has given to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We must believe that no spirit by whatever name that spirit is called, can prevail against us for us to enjoy the safety and the peace of God in this world in the name of Jesus Christ. We must not see, believe that the spirit in the air can control us, that wishes and wizards can control us in the name of Jesus Christ. They cannot call us forth into their gatherings because the spirit of God is in us. Greater is that spirit in us than the spirit of, that is in this world in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not surrender our will to the enemy to use. Any thought that is contrary to the will of God, what we know that God has given to us, we must reject those thoughts in Jesus' name. So that we be empowered to live and to enjoy our lives. No man, no uncle, no auntie, nobody in our families can control our lives. Nobody in the families that we are married into can control our lives. It's ritual in the name of Jesus Christ. For God is our God. No one can control the lives of our children. We surrender our lives to God. No us of God can stand against the knowledge of God in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. No evil, unforgiving tradition that 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 manifests when sins, when we sin, can can reign in our lives because the blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed us from all of righteousness. We do not go back to start to do those things from which God has delivered us. We are moving forward and God is helping us today in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to have faith to believe in God, God to work with God. God has given us each a measure of faith. A faith to work with him, to do great works in this world. Let us begin to exercise our faith and add good works to our faith. Because faith without good works is dead. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. So this morning I'm going to read from Hebrews chapter 11 beginning from verse 32. I will read a couple of verses this morning. Amen. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Sansi, Jephthah, 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 I think that's the name, David, Samuel, and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms. Through faith they conquered kingdoms. That's the same faith God has given to us. Every man, every one of us, God has given a measure of faith. These great men of God, through faith, they conquered kingdoms. They were able to walk with God to give him pleasure. Amen. That's the same faith that God has given to us. What are we doing with our faith? Are we adding good works to our faith? Are we able to conquer kingdoms? Are we able to do the small things in our communities to make life good for us and the people around us, using our faith to do good works? Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Who through faith conquered kingdoms, administer justice. Are we able to administer justice through faith? We have been given an important position in our communities as a judge. Amen. Are we one of those that profile the children of God because of their races? 
Are we looking at actual appearances? Have we forgotten that God placed us in that privileged position to represent Him? Do we have faith to work with God? To administer justice? That in everything we do, that the Spirit of God will direct the course of human affairs? Do we have faith? On our job as supervisors, to work for God, to be honest when we do our evaluations. Do we have faith? That when we stand, we begin to speak. We talk as the oracles of God. Do you have faith to work with God? Even the little things we do. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That through faith, conquered kingdoms, administer justice, and gain what was promised. Because they have faith to work, they gain what was promised to them by God. Who shut the mouths of lions, quench the fury of, of the flames, and escape the edge of the sword? Or the sword. Whose weakness was turned to strength through faith. When you are weak and you start to walk in faith, your wicked weakness becomes strength. It's turned to strength. Amen. Because God is there to help you. You can say that you have faith to believe in Him, that you are standing, actually standing, and they are moving. You are made up your mind to walk with God. And God comes to you to give you the strength you need. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Whose weakness was turned to strength and who became powerful in battle and routed foreign armies women received back their dead through faith women received back their dead raised to life again others were tortured and refused to be released so that they might Gave a better resurrection. That through faith, people were allowed themselves to be persecuted. They allowed themselves to be persecuted. They were not afraid of persecution. They did not renounce their, their belief in God and in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They, 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 they withstood trials. We, we read about the Apostle Paul. I was flogged so many times. I was in prison. I was chained. He said in chains, as a prisoner of Christ, he did all the things he did. Because he knew the God who called him. He withstood every persecution he passed through. He did not renounce his religion, his faith in God. He pressed on. He continued to, to tell people about the salvation of Jesus Christ. Because he met with Jesus Christ. Do we have faith today to desire a better resurrection? The resurrection that God has, will give to us in Jesus Christ. To reject a resurrection into hellfire. Resurrection that will not benefit our spiritual life. When we resurrect, it will be for eternity. Do we have faith today to walk with God in the name of Jesus Christ? To withstand anything anyone will bring against us and we do not turn our backs against God. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That some face just, they were laughing at them and flogging. Why still others were shamed and put in prison? They were stoned. They were sold in two. They were put to death by the sword. They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted, and mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains, and in caves, and holes, in the ground. These were all commended for their faith. Yet none of them received what had been promised. God has planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Despite all their sacrifices, the faith they had to please God, the persecution they passed through, the torment, some in chains, in prison, some died. They did not receive the promise because God had a better plan that they will receive the promise of God with us. That along with us we will be heads of God's kingdom and co-heads of God's kingdom with Jesus Christ. They suffered because of us. They continue to preach the gospel so that we may receive the promises of God. So that we may come into, into that door that God has opened unto us. Today we are here, we are alive, we are passed on, we are resting. But their, their, their work was not in vain. Because we have received salvation. 
It has been commended unto them that what they did was good in the sight of God. Their names have been written in, 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 in hell. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We are alive today. We must press on, continue to testify about the gospel of salvation to the world that we live in. So that more people will be brought into the kingdom. We cannot turn our back because of fear of men, because of persecution, because of intimidation, because of whatever anyone will say. Because if they did that, we wouldn't have received this message that came to us. There are so many outside that have waited. They will join with us and those that have gone ahead of us to receive a promise at a time that God has predestinated. But meanwhile, this gospel of salvation must continue to go forward. Let's have faith to give to work with God, to do good works, to administer justice, to show the love of God to the people in our communities, to begin to stand on the foundation of our faith, to build on our most holy faith and begin to tell people about our God. About our God, what God has given to us in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There is no other way through which men will be reconciled unto God. Unless through Jesus Christ is the way, is the life, is the truth that is unto God. Is the light of God that came into this world. Is the one that has given us life, the living word of God, the truth that we have in us, the life that we live today. Our former old self died with sin. We have, and we are resurrected. We we accepted Jesus Christ. We are living his life. Amen today in the name of Jesus Christ. We are with him in the heavens, though we are in this world. Glory, hallelujah, amen. When we die, we be with him where he is as God. Resurrected, resurrected, resurrected him from death. That's the way God will resurrect us from death in Jesus' mighty name. We thank God for all he has given to us in Jesus Christ. Let us find our heads. Praise God this morning. Father, we praise you. We thank you. You are God. Faithful. Wonderful. No God has seen. Receive the praise and honor for all you have done for us. Thank you for the life you have given to us. For the faith you have given to us to walk with you. To administer justice. To conquer nations. To, to, to bring down lions. In the name of Jesus Christ, to quench fires in the name of Jesus Christ, to put on strongholds, to do good works, to bring souls into your kingdom, to withstand persecution, to withstand chains, to withstand spiritual intimidations, to prevail against the forces of darkness. Father, Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ for all you have done for us in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God. Sweet of the living God, continue to help us. Women receive a dead one, resurrected back, resurrected back to them because they have faith to walk with you. Father, Lord, touch us this day. Bless our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your will be done in our lives on earth as it is in heaven. That our God receive the praise in Jesus, my dear and precious name. We have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. We love you too. Have a good day. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen.